And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the monastery, the open bar of the internet, the world's greatest shit show, and the place where we, the good brothers and sisters of this most holy of temples, seek enlightenment through the drunkest, craziest, and most batshit ways possible. I am your one and only gaming monk, better known as Mildra, and with me, I have a newcomer to the temple, com coming to us all, coming to us all the way from the hard, from the hard land of the hard mode of uh, of languages known as Poland. Um, the one, the and creator of the upcoming game, upcoming game, Witchcrafter. The one and only Powell Yoros. How how are you doing today, man? Hello, uh, I'm doing really fine. Uh, fine today. <laughs> yeah, and I know it's prob it's probably um er it's probably early um early early um evening for you, but it's it's the it's the um crack of dawn for me. Oh. It's, it's it's one of the most comfortable time for me because my uh, children are on the walk with my wife. Ah. <laughs> so I have some calm time. Yeah. So I like to start with the humble beginnings. And with that with that in mind, um where did you where did the bug to re to really delve into game to game development start to kick in? Uh <laughs> It's a story uh, I would uh, I would probably need to start from my childhood where I, when I uh, play a lot of games mm -hmm. uh, and I like it, uh, them from the perspective of of the design and of the storytelling the games like Mafia or or The Witcher uh, mm -hmm. even uh, have one of the best storytelling I I I, I experienced in gaming. Uh, and it was really interesting for me. <laughs> so I started to look for something that I could uh, extend those stories. Like uh, The Witcher has an editor uh, in which uh, I could uh, uh, add new quests, new maps to the game and you know, play them later. <laughs> so it was only a fun. fun. Uh, I never published any any mod uh, for for The Witcher, uh, but uh, this is how it started. Then I uh, discovered uh, more uh, editors, more uh, tools, and uh, finally game engines. Yeah. Uh, so so like yeah so later. Uh, I, I discovered uh, game engines like Unity, Unreal, um, and uh, and uh, finally uh, Default, which is uh, now my weapon of choice. Uh, and I learned it like uh, I am a, a, a software developer, so uh, programming was uh, kind of uh, fun for me. <laughs> and uh, I am also as an as a really independent uh, developer. Mm -hmm. uh, Actually, it is my hobby, so uh, uh, it is uh, uh, that I like drawing and so on. <laughs> now, the idea of the idea of witchcrafter. How did that? How did that um, first start? Was it just from just from delving into a lot of um, fantasy works growing up, or was there a different story on how it started? Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, I must admit that uh, it first started as a mobile game, <laughs> uh, so it was a much free game with magic, uh, and then it uh, shaped, uh, and then I uh, uh, starting to add a story to this. Uh, it became more like a good night story uh, on mobile, if you know uh, that game, mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, finally it evolved to 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 the to the shape it is right now. Uh, a hybrid of a platform game and a role playing game mm -hmm. <laughs> so it was again an evolution uh, going through the years uh, and now it is uh, it is something i i would love to play actually <laughs> so so uh, many metroidvania influences and uh, many uh, storytelling world building conversations in in them Um, taking that taking that into account, you, um, I th I think in I think in some of your past posts and up and updates when it comes to Witchcrafter, you had you had mentioned um, Metroidvania a few times. Um, do you can do you consider the approach that you're doing with with the game to be a Metroidvania style approach, or do you consider it to lean a little bit off from that? 
uh, it has some influences. I mean, uh, the world is open. It is uh, fulfilled with uh, vivid characters, uh, with their own motives, uh, experiences, uh, history. Uh, you can talk with them. Many of the quests can uh, should uh, be <laughs> uh, maintained uh, using only conversation and not uh, the powerful skills of witch carters. <laughs> uh so 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 the structure of the world is like uh, in a classical metroidvania you you are gaining new skills that will allow you to uh, to discover new uh, areas something like this mm -hmm. and the skills uh, includes uh, mm, uh, all the elemental magic uh, that the witchcrafters are using. Uh, they are able to bend uh, uh, for basic elements, uh, fire, water, air, and earth, mm -hmm. uh, to use uh, f for their purposes. Yeah. And taking that, taking, that into, taking that into account, when it comes to... I'll, st I'll, start, I'll start off with the, with the whole process when it comes to magic. Um, like, do you, do you intend on having it where, where, um, you have a universe, you have a universal MP resource in play, or do you have something different in mind when it comes to managing the four elements? Uh, so generally, um, for now, it is like a, a one a source of energy in the whole mm -hmm. world. But I would like to shape it like uh, it is, uh, for example, in the Avatar, the Last Airbender, mm -hmm. if you know it, uh, that uh, resources of the elements are, uh, you know, limited. Uh, for example, uh, if you want to use actually water spells, you need to be in the uh, uh, near the, near some water source, uh, right? Uh, if there, if you are on a uh, on a dry desert, uh, you you won't uh, be able to use uh, water spells, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, it, also, if you are in a very cold environment uh, without uh, any fire sources, you won't be able to use uh, fire as well. And I want to show it in my game, uh, so uh, it will be really a a, a limit. Uh, if the environmental issues are uh, showing that some uh, kind of elements can't be used. Mm -hmm. And give, given that, is one of the goals that you have with these four elements to, to make sure that no element gets too useful compared to the others? Mm, <laughs> balancing games is one of the most uh, difficult tasks, actually. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think I will be uh, playing the game, having fun with this. If if, if something is too much uh, overpowered, I will uh, lower some statistics to make it uh, to make it more balanced comparing to other spells. Also, I have a very uh, very friendly community around the game uh, mm -hmm. that is giving me uh, a lot of uh, constructive feedback. Uh, so so I can rely on them uh, in that field. And I think it will be not only uh, fun for me, but also for other people. <laughs> yeah. And with that, kind, with that kind of thing in mind, would, um, do you, even though, even though obviously magic is going to be, is going to be a big part, um, do you, ha do you have plan to make, do you have plans to make sure that, um, that you're, since you're using a sword with when it comes to a lot of the sprite work and, and art that the sort that using your um, using your melee weapons instead of just relying on magic is just as important uh, yes actually it is uh, mm -hmm. because uh, the main protagonist uh, Estel, uh, will be of course equipped with the uh, with the sword uh, he his one of his friend is a blacksmith so he will have an aid in uh, crafting new uh, swords from him mm -hmm. uh, and yeah uh, sword is now like uh, just a melee weapon but during the development uh, Estel will learn how to uh, 
utilize elements to make it more powerful, like having a fire sword or or a, a sword with electric bolts uh, coming out of it, <laughs> or something like this. Yes. Now so it would be it will be heavy uh, relying on 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 the progression for the game. Yeah. Um. Now, when it comes to when it comes to um, Estelle himself, I um, I believe on the site it's mentioned that he was that he was raised by a by um, a witchcrafter named Trisigmestos. Which um, when I saw that when I saw that name, I um, I couldn't I couldn't help but wonder is that was that a bit of a nod to Hermes? Yes, it is. <laughs> uh... Yes, exactly. Uh, I I don't know uh, even how to how to pronounce it correctly, but yes, that name is uh, uh, is uh, is a wink to the uh, to the character of uh, Kermes. Uh, I have uh, I I love uh, uh, you know uh, such references, mm -hmm. and I have many of them uh, in the story of the witchcraft. So, yeah. for example, if you are familiar, if you are a very uh, close fan of uh, Tolkien's uh, mythology. Uh, you will uh, notice the wink uh, at uh, Aragorn's uh, name uh, in the protagonist name. <laughs> yeah. And with with that kind of with that kind of thing, um, now a lot now, of course the um, the other name that's been given for Metroidvania is search act is um, search action, and in a lot of those cases, um, the upgrades the upgrade system is is rooted in giving you something so that you can so that you have means to explore areas that you had previously seen but couldn't reach is witchcrafts are going to follow in this tradition uh, yes uh, the, the progression i meant uh, regarding uh, learning new abilities uh, is, uh, uh, is strictly connected to the artifacts uh, that uh, the main protagonist will uh, find uh, in the world could mm -hmm. find in the world actually so uh, there are uh, remnants of old uh, civilizations uh, you know with uh, with the runes uh, magical artifacts and so on uh, that will uh, allow uh, uh, our hero to unlock some new abilities mm -hmm. and something that i noticed when i looked when i looked into the when i looked into the um when i looked into the character profiles on the itch.io page for witchcrafter um would it be fair of me to would it be fair of me to say that there's a lot of references to alchemy Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, for example, in my community, I've, I have one friend that uh, is uh, a, a witch. Uh, so a lot of the, um, you know, uh, witchery, paganism and uh, alchemy is uh, references are included in the game. Uh, I am um, I am um, exploring all those uh, domains uh, to, you know, uh, uh, to to shape a world that is uh, that have all, all the all the blocks to uh, to connect uh, that are that are working together. So you know, uh, so the so the world building is pretty enhanced in 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 this world, and uh, there are a lot of references to the to the old uh, ancient uh, alchemy based on on the elements. Mm -hmm. uh, there will be also links to, uh, to the. Um, mm -hmm. Mm, to the new technologies, new uh, discoveries made by uh, uh, mm, uh, scientists like uh, Lavoisier or so, so, someone like him. Uh, so you, you will see. Uh, and there is also a lot of uh, references to the, to the mythologies, uh, Slavic mythology, uh, Nordic mythology, which is, which is uh, very, very big, and uh, some, uh, even some Middle East Eastern uh, mythologies like Ugarit mythologies from uh, current, uh, from modern Syria. Syria. Yeah. Um, when it now... Something that I did, something that I did note, that I did notice when it came to the, um, when it came to when it came to the UI that you've got that you've got on the um, page, is 
ha is having three gate having three gauges and obviously one of them i can surmise is health um one of them i'm guessing would be um ma the magic energy and what would the third one be uh, third one was meant to be a uh, stamina bar or something like this, uh, uh, strength of uh, Estelle, but I think I will uh, get rid of it. I, I, I also want to get rid of uh, the energy matter. So uh, it will be like, uh, uh, because I want to shape the uh, system that is based on the elements around you. Uh, so if there is a lot of, you know, fire around you, you have uh, more ab uh, pos uh, more abilities in uh, uh, to craft uh, some fire spells. Uh, so uh, uh, as you can change uh, carrying carrot elements, mm -hmm. uh, you will see that the glow around a uh, uh, hero's uh, hand is uh, bigger when uh, there is a lot of element of that kind. So that will be uh, such a sub subtle uh, notification of how many elements uh, are around. For now, it's only a bar. Uh, because because uh, the game is still in alpha production, yeah. uh, so so many things c could change. But uh, uh, yes, I want to shape it like this. Mm -hmm. And when it came to you, when it came to using that that um stamina bar that you initially ha that you initially had, what was what was the reasoning for go for going with that, and why do you think you're going to get rid? Why do you think you're going to get rid of that? Uh, just because it's work, it works like uh, right now. So, uh, you know, uh, we, I am prototyping things uh, like uh, in, in a in a very popular way. So, uh, in many games, there are uh, energy bars. So, I wanted to include uh, something like this just to uh, you know limit your possibilities to not only uh, cast uh, uh, so many fireballs without any uh, when any limits uh, so it was just for prototyping and now i am uh, trying to craft the the system uh, I, I i am describing to you yeah um and take, taking that into taking that into account the other the other thing I uh, no I noticed when it came to the um, prototype that you have is the whole thing of she of sheathing the uh, sword. Now, the first thing I want to ask is, when it comes to what you've got planned, is it mainly going is the main melee weapon that you're going to be using the sword? Yes, um, I don't want uh, to uh, you know make uh, our hero. Uh, very uh, uh, a man who is specialized in, in so many weapons <laughs> that uh, he could handle all, all, uh, all the weapons of the world and he could he could uh, fight with them i don't want to do that uh, estel is specialized in swords so uh, it will be uh, uh, his main uh, weapon yeah. that he could carry um next thing i was get next thing i was going to ask is how it, um if you have any plans for def for um defensive capabilities yes uh, if, uh, i have <laughs> many plans uh, there are mostly regarding the spells uh, or or the magical abilities like uh, dashing uh, back uh, using uh, some kind of uh, you know air flow uh, using air elements uh, mm -hmm some kind of uh, shields uh, mm, mm, conjured using earth element or uh, ice elements something like this mm -hmm. uh, so yeah using uh, using magic we will be will give you defensive abilities and take um taking that taking that taking that into account um when it comes now, obviously there, obviously there's the whole thing of uh, melee attack, and then the um, sp and then the spells, um, current currently set up. Um, are is your sp is your spell list going to be rel going to be relatively static when it comes when it comes to spells of each element, or is that going to diff or is that going to differ? That is definitely something to consider through the development. For now, uh, the list is static, indeed. Uh, 
uh, but uh, I want to have uh, some, um, you know, some enhancements or adjustments to the to the current uh, spells, mm -hmm. so you can uh, make them more powerful, more uh, uh, quicker, uh, costing less, or so on. Some upgrades to, to the spells. Yeah, I'm. I'm. What I will now, when it comes to now, um, when it now when it comes to because I also I also noticed that we have that you have a um skill setup. Would the skill setup that I see that I see in it would it be fair of me to say that you that each element has a skill as a um skill tree that they that you can expand upon. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, uh, I am. I am shaping uh, right now uh, something like this. There is a. Mm, there will be a wheel of uh, elements, and each uh, element will have its. Uh, it's uh, something like skill tree. So you have uh, some basic, uh, basic uh, abilities using uh, fire elements, but uh, then you can. Uh, uh, if, uh, by finding some new artifacts that, will, that will allow you to learn some new spells, you will be able to unlock a new uh, uh, skill set uh, that can be upgraded later on. Mm -hmm. And when when it comes to when it comes to the um, the up the upgrades, um, and obviously obviously these are going to very much tie into the elements that that you have access to um are there an is it a is it a case where a, where a lot of the um monsters are going to be are going to be weak to certain elements so it's a so it's a matter of figuring out what um element they're weak to and then you and then utilizing that yes indeed <laughs> i want uh, I, I want them to to have some weak points and strengths, uh, so you will need to adjust uh, your uh, your carried element to, mm -hmm. to them. Uh, but it, it will be also in in uh, in a correlation to the uh, you know the the elements that uh, that are around uh, around you. So you will be probably choosing uh, preferably water spells near near some river or so on because there is a lot of uh, resource of that. Uh, but if there will be uh, uh, monsters that are uh, uh, capable of uh, or are, uh, you know, can't be uh, easily beaten with water, uh, you might probably change your uh, elements to, I don't know, earth or uh, air. Mm -hmm. And when it comes... Um... Now, when it comes to that, when it comes to that resource, uh, we mentioned um, spending the resource, but when it comes to regaining it, is it going to be one of those things where you're going to have to rely on on items, or do you have, or do you have plans to um, have that um, gradually regenerate? Uh, uh, I want to be some kind of realistic approach, but uh, uh, there won't be any. Uh... Uh, you know, mana potions or something like this. <laughs> uh, I want uh, to include uh, alchemy in my game uh, to, mm -hmm. to 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 craft to brew some uh, some potions that will uh, um, allow you to, for example, uh, uh, have uh, more uh, uh, elements from from the water that is around you. Mm -hmm. uh, that that will uh, upgrade that ability, but. Uh, all the magical resources will be uh, connected to the environment. Uh, and those probably regarding balancing the game uh, will be uh, uh, gradually uh, regenerated through the, through, the, through the time because I don't want to, you know, use all the water around and there, there will be no possibilities to use water, uh, but it will take time. Uh, so it will. Uh, so, so I want it to be, to feel really uh, natural. Yeah. Um, now, what I find in, what I find interesting is you mentioned um, you 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 mentioned you mentioned earlier ab about um, 
about about alchemy and, po and potions and the like. Something I'm curious about is since you've you mentioned um the wit you mentioned the Witcher in the past, and something I'm cu something I'm curious about is in the, obviously in that game there's rules on um toxicity, i.e. Making sure that you don't take too many potions, otherwise it's going to da otherwise it's going to damage you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, <laughs> do you have something similar to that in mind, or some sort of limiting effect so people don't get um, too oh, too um, liberal when it comes to their use of potions? Uh, yes, uh, some kind of fatigues are on my to-do list, <laughs> and uh, this includes uh, also toxicity, toxicity uh, hunger, uh, first, and uh, a need to uh, sleep. I don't know how it uh, will be, uh, you know, um, realistic, uh, but uh, I want to uh, add uh, such uh, functionalities to my game to make... Uh, 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 players care about Esten uh, more, so mm -hmm. uh, he will need to eat. He will uh, need to uh, look for what he's drinking. Actually, to not uh, you know get uh, ill, uh, it, it it will somehow uh, influence uh, him. I don't know how 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 big the influence will be. Uh, it, it it will be for sure balanced, but I want uh, such uh, fatigues to to uh, to be accounted for. And taking that taking that into account, taking that into account, um, when it comes to things like hunger or thirst, obviously with those sort of things, people um, often end up thinking of survival style games. Do do you um, do you, is part of your plan to make sure that you're that you're leaning into that a little bit, but you're not going a full-on survival game, a la Seven Days to Die or something like that? Mm, yes, yes. There, there is a fin. Uh, there is a really uh, fin. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, I don't want to make it a full-blown uh, survival game. So, <laughs> there are uh, functionalities that I want to include to make it more. Uh, natural and to make uh, players care about uh, the, the protagonist uh, but yeah it won't be uh, a survival game it it will have some uh, functionalities from from those games but it won't uh, rely on them uh, in 100 percent mm -hmm. uh, i i really want to include the day and night uh, cycle in the game but i uh, but it demands a lot of you know uh, uh, Mm, a lot of caring mm -hmm. to the details uh, you know sometimes it it, it is uh, mm, mm, there is a conflict with the story mm -hmm. uh, uh, there is a conflict of the, of the story and uh, and uh, and the weather for uh, of, of or the cycle of the day and night mm -hmm. uh, so i don't want uh, it uh, to to influence uh, the uh, the story uh, too much Which makes it, which makes sense. Um, when it com when it comes to like now, when it comes to that story, match because mm -hmm. uh, for me the story is one of the pillar of the mm -hmm. games. Uh, but yeah. um, when it come now, when it comes to that sto when it comes to that story, um. Do you plan? Do you plan on? Do you plan on separate? Do you plan on segmenting the area, the areas of the world within that story, so that the further you go along, the um, the greater the um, areas that you can explore are. Paolo, did I lose you? Um, uh, Paolo. Are you there? And we are having technical difficulties. Hold on a moment. 
And we are back. Sorry about that, folks. Um, now when it comes no, when it comes to the when it comes to um, the ex the expansion of the of the map. Um, did when you were when you're designing the map of, of the um of the kind of open world that you have with Witchcrafter. Um, do you intend? Do you intend to have a lot of the areas have their own theme? Mm -hmm. yeah, kind of. Uh, for example, there will be environments that uh, uh, that will be, uh, for for example, mountains that will that are very high, uh, where when you are you will be clim climbing on them, you will notice that it, it is getting more and more cold. The snow is starting to. to to, 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 to drop mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, so so it will have its own uh, climate for example uh, uh, but uh, uh, there is also uh, 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 except the progression in uh, you know vertical plane there will be uh, also uh, like like in most of the platform games vertical and horizontal uh, there will be also a, traver a traversing through the through the whole empire Mm -hmm. So, uh, the starting uh, uh, the starting uh, area where uh, our protagonist uh, actually live uh, mm -hmm. is uh, is pretty uh, a sunny place. Uh, it is uh, really warm here. Uh, it is in the south of um, uh, of the empire. Uh, uh, so it will uh, you know uh, hold the image of that uh, area will. Uh, Tell the players, uh, yeah, this uh, this place is pretty friendly. So uh, uh, the hero is in his comfort zone, mm -hmm. uh, something like this. But then he will, uh, his his uh, father, uh, his patron will be kidnapped, and uh, we will be uh, we will need to find him. We we'll, we will uh, embark on a journey uh, through through the empire. Uh, so we will uh, reach uh, new areas. And it will uh, going uh, up to the north. We will uh, be visiting more darker areas. We will uh, discover that the empire is uh, torn uh, with with wars, with uh, some uh, kind of uh, illnesses. Mm -hmm. uh, many peoples uh, in many uh, uh, villages will uh, have. Uh, 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 problems we have uh, their own issues uh, and uh, you will notice that uh, uh, because of lack lack of uh, communication during those uh, dire times uh, between the villages uh, uh, most of the villages will have their uh, own uh, mm, uh, their, their own atmosphere there will be mysteries uh, in the villages and you will be able to discover them or just mm -hmm. Uh, leave the village as it was and uh, go on through the journey. Yeah. And when it comes now, when it comes to that, when it comes to that journey, would it be fair of me to say that some that some parts of it have been modeled after the monomyth or the hero's journey? Uh, can you repeat it? The question, please. Um, would some. Obviously, I'm not going to ask you to go into spoilers on it, but would some parts yes. of the of the um, story in, of the story in the um, game be mo be modeled a bit on the monomyth, also known as the hero's journey? So, uh, uh, the story that is actually written for Witchcrafter, but not uh, implemented into the the game. Mm -hmm. uh, so I have a script uh, for for the game, uh, and I have it uh, divided into uh, three acts. Mm -hmm. And the first act uh, is, uh, or, or or the prologue uh, uh, is uh, happening in the south of Emporia. Uh, so I, as I was describing, it is a warm and friendly area. Uh, then uh, in the middle of the story, uh, he, uh, Estelle will be discovering discovering. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm, the center of Emporia, so uh, so many villages, and many uh, forests, many sanctuaries, and uh, places like this. Uh, and uh, the ending part of the game uh, will uh, take place in the capital city of Emporia, uh, where the castle of uh, 
uh, Ronard, the Emperor of Emporia, uh, is. And uh, uh, there, are, there are actually two empires. So the Emporia, the, our empire, the empire that uh, Estel lives in. And there is a, a neighboring empire of Navia uh, in, the, in the south. And Navians are invading Emporias during these times because they are believing their, uh, the mythical... Uh, uh, fifth element, the mm -hmm. uh, so-called uh, uh, philosopher's stone, uh, is held in that castle. So the, the uh, culminative uh, moment of the game will uh, will be taking place in in the castle. So you will uh, uh, probably be uh, discovering if the if that mythical stone exists or not. And of, of course, many, many other uh, questions that will uh, came for the game. But the main motive is that uh, uh, beside of uh, finding his, uh, his patron uh, is to actually find the truth about, about the fifth stone and the origin of our protagonist. So uh, this is uh, just, a, you know, uh, the overview of the story. I don't want to spoil uh, so many details. Uh, mm -hmm because there are uh, many, many mysteries I want to uh, to include in the story. Yeah. And when it comes to, when it, um, when it comes to it, I didn't, I did notice that you had, that you had, um, you, you had, you had more done, um, the emperor of the, the emperor of the Southern empire. Um, you made him into a necromancer. Um, of, all, of all the things, to, of all the things to go with, why? What was the what was the inspiration or or um, reasoning for going with a necromancer for his approach? Uh, the, uh, the 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 story of Mordon, so the emperor of the invading uh, empire, is uh, is so interesting for me that I was uh, thinking if. Uh, uh, I should make a game about him <laughs> or the Estelle. But uh, for now, the game will be about Estelle and uh, uh, Mordon will be uh, actually the main antagonist of the story. Uh, why? Because uh, he's simply uh, uh, making his army of, uh, um, of undead, uh, that's why he's a necromancer, to invade uh, the, 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 the Northern Empire to uh, to obtain the stone so he seeks for power for uh, for you know uh, uh, he's very greedy for 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 it so it, mm -hmm. it's like a, a popular uh, antagonist character <laughs> there are also a lot of references to to tolkien's uh, mythology uh, uh, for example silmarillion here <laughs> yeah. uh, but the, the character has a, a as in many many new uh, production, uh, the antagonist should have its uh, own background, and the background of Morton is uh, pretty well uh, uh, described. Uh, there will be a lot of uh, mysteries from his uh, actual past uh, discovered through the story. So mm -hmm. uh, from now on. Uh, <laughs> It will be only uh, he will be only presented as an uh, interesting character and mm -hmm. antagonist, but uh, through the story you will discover more and more about uh, him and his uh, motives and uh, his experience. Mm -hmm. Now, in the itch.io page, you describe um, the world of Emporia, where the game takes place, as a um, dark as a dark fantasy empire. Um, now, obviously, fantasy is a very wide, wide um, net to cast. But what about what about your particular setting? Would you would you say um, is the is high is highlighted by it being dark fantasy? Like what about what about your setting makes it dark fantasy as opposed to high, as opposed to high or swords and sorcery or what have you? Mm -hmm. So I want to uh, clash uh, uh, our uh, protagonist with the world uh, 
uh, around him. So uh, as long as he is in his comfort zone, he is uh, living with his father, uh, he has friend, uh, everything is okay, uh, there are no dangers, uh, but as soon as he leaves that comfort zone and, uh, uh, and discover uh, mm, and met uh, other people, uh, he, uh, he gets matured and he sees that uh, a lot of people have many, many problems. So uh, I, c I couldn't make it in high fantasy, uh, you know, uh, atmosphere because I want to uh, uh, have topics uh, that are pretty dark <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. for those villagers. There, there will be uh, topics regarding uh, the paganism and, and some uh, rituals. Uh, there will be topics regarding uh, probably even... Uh, a very modern topic regarding uh, viruses and, uh, <laughs> uh, and you know, I illnesses. Uh, mm -hmm. There will be also uh, very personal uh, problems of uh, villagers. So uh, all of those are, uh, mm, uh, will be shaping uh, a new view of, of the world for our protagonist, that mm -hmm. this world isn't as uh, warm and colorful and beautiful as he think it is. Uh, but there are a lot of uh, greed, uh, lust, uh, and, you know, uh, brutality, actually. Mm -hmm. And taking that, account, taking that into account, I did want to ask about, um, about, about the, about the um, magic system that you have. Not, not in terms of mechanics, but in terms of lore. Now, in a lot of dark fantasy settings, magic is something that is very very hard to get a hold of um it's either it's either rooted in either because it's rooted in superstition or because you magic using is extreme is extremely dangerous even for those who are trained or sometimes a little of column a and a little of column b um now obviously the obviously um you're playing you're playing as someone who has a fair amount of access to magic but is, but how how um well how well established is ma is magic um within the within the setting is it something that is ve that's hard to get access to or is it something that or is it in the more subtle magic approach that um Tolkien uses in his work uh, uh, this is uh, this world uh uh for sure contains a lot of magic uh, in it but uh witch crafters are uh, formed by the emperor of uh, uh of emporia mm. to to protect to protect his empire uh he noticed that some people uh, have magical abilities but it is not explained how they uh, achieved it some uh, people believe that they are uh, born during, uh, you know, a night of shooting stars, and this is why they have uh, uh, magical abilities. Some uh, people that are believing the fifth uh, element is actually a thing, mm -hmm. uh, believes that uh, that those uh, people that can use magic contains some of uh, uh, fifth element inside her them. Mm -hmm. uh, and some uh, believes that this is only a scientific uh, trick uh, uh, or something like this, that they uh, can't actually cast spells, but they are using the environment to, to you know, for their uh, uh, advantages. Mm -hmm. uh, none, none of those explanations will be uh, totally true. And uh, uh, even, even Estelle will uh, many times... Uh, I think that uh, some of the explanation is true, but uh, it will came out that uh, that it is not. He uh, he actually, uh, as a witchcrafter, has has those abilities. Uh, he will be discovering through the story uh, his origin, so maybe there will be answer uh, uh, in the end. Uh, but uh, as he um, as he as he's learning from from the Trismegistos uh, uh, the spells. Uh, it is uh, it is that he has those abilities and uh, only uh, is uh, learning to control them because mm -hmm. he without without the control he could uh, uh, erupt all those elements around them 
and uh, hurt himself. Mm -hmm. And when you mentioned the whole concept of con of control, um, is that something that you've con that you've considered reflecting in me reflecting in mechanics of what of what can happen when spell use gets out of control? Uh, yes, I was thinking many times about it, but it it is uh, it uh, it is uh, uh, there is one problem that I want the gameplay to be actually players friendly. So mm -hmm. I, I don't know how to make uh, such a uh, uh, unpredictable eruptions uh, that uh, um, uh, are natural for for the for the you know storytelling, but are uh, interruptive for the gameplay actually. So I think that. Uh, there, uh, there will be uh, a part of the story that is uh, taking uh, uh, place in his uh, in his childhood when he cannot control the magic, and uh, this, there will be uh, uh, a player will be warned that there will be uh, such a kind of eruptions, and through the gameplays, it that uh, during the, those times uh, there will be actually unpredictable eruptions uh, in the gameplay. Uh, but then, uh, when we are uh, controlling the adult uh, uh, Estelle, mm -hmm. uh, he will learn actually uh, and already how to control the magic. So the unpredictable eruptions will uh, will not be a part of the gameplay. Yeah, and when it comes to when it comes to that older when it comes to that older Estelle. Um, one of the questions that ends up com ends up coming to mind for me is, ha given how I, rem I remember seeing a um, seeing a separate sprite when it came to older Rydia in um, Final Fantasy IV. Um, yes. Did you have something similar in mind where you're where it's going to be very it's going to be very apparent when you're seeing an older Estelle in the uh, story? Yes, yes, I I want to do that. Uh, so. Mm. So it is a challenge for an indie developer to develop uh, two versions of the main characters because there are uh, like a vast amount of animations to do. Uh, even in pixel art, it takes a lot of time. Mm -hmm. uh, but I really want to to uh, to you know to uh, diversify them so the um, younger Esther will look different from the uh, uh, older one. And when it when it comes to the when it comes to the oh, the um dif the difference between the two are did you have plans for um some for some addition to the set to the game to the um sandbox when um when that change happens? Uh, this is not uh, actually shaped. Uh... Uh, in a uh, in a uh, you know final way, uh, this will probably be some uh, some topic to change. Uh, for now, the the plan is to uh, to uh, regard it to the story. So mm -hmm. uh, the the prologue of the game will be uh, for sure taking part uh, in his uh, childhood. So he will be pretty young, uh, but. Uh, Mm, f through the story, there will be probably uh, not to interrupt the, the actual gameplay, but uh, through the story, there will be probably a cutscene that shows that he uh, make, made some progression and now is in that point in his life that he has, uh, you know, f few years more. Mm -hmm. And what now um when it comes to equipment i did see the equip the equipment slots obviously in the um prototype but what but um is it gonna, is it going to be a case where you're where you're going to be doing equal amounts of get of getting stuff in shops and getting stuff through pickups or is it go or is it going to lean a little bit more towards pickups later on uh, for now, there, there are pickups and there are uh, uh, something like uh, quest items. Uh, but uh, in in the future, I would like to have it uh, to have also a loot uh, from 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 enemies mm -hmm. uh, and also quest rewards. 
uh, that will be uh, that will be uh, that will uh, Estelle can take uh, uh, into his inv inventory. Um, now, when it comes to inventory, are you are you planning on making it so that you could only hold a very limited um, very limited amount of items, or are you being a little bit um, looser with that? Uh, uh, I don't know uh, for now uh, what the restriction for inventory will be. Uh, for sure, there will be, uh, as I said, only one kind of uh, melee weapon uh, and one uh, style of his uh, uh, outfit. So, for example, he won't be uh, he won't become a hunter or a paladin wearing a shiny. Uh, armor mm -hmm. uh, he will be wearing uh, a leather jacket or something like that uh, enhanced or something mm -hmm. and uh, always wearing his uh, his rope <laughs> uh, because it is how uh, it uh, the Estelle is wearing so he he won't uh, just uh, wear a uh, an armor that he found uh, on on a dead body, mm -hmm. <laughs> just because it it, it should uh, it should be uh, um, better in stats, but uh, he will take into account that it is not suiting him because it's too big or too small, something mm -hmm. like this. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, one of the more infamous um, factors when it comes to a lot of oh, when it comes to a lot of um. This sort of source action approach is the is the issue of drop rates. Has that been some has that been something you've um, taken into account where where certain items or the like have um, have drop rates to the point where you need to pray to R N Jesus in order to try and get in order to try and get a certain item? Hmm. <laughs> Uh, this is something I would like to avoid. I don't want to make it a, 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 a loot uh, RPG based on mm -hmm. loot. Uh, I uh, do want to um, precisely uh, equip uh, enemies and uh, uh, precisely decide which uh, uh, rewards will be for what quest, just to make sure it is uh, all natural. No, so you won't get a, a beautiful, shiny carved gold uh, sword uh, mm -hmm. from a villager that is pretty poor. So you want uh, you will have an, uh, some other options to to get rewarded from them. Uh, yep. Many villagers will be uh, having uh, some kind of artifacts that they don't know what uh, what they are doing. And mm -hmm. uh, in a in a hand of a witchcrafter, uh, it could be a powerful weapon, for example, to upgrade uh, yeah. uh, for new abilities. So All I right. want it to be, uh, you know, uh, to be decided by me, uh, just uh, for it to be uh, to look natural. Mm -hmm. And when it can, now, um, I know that the game is in development, and obviously everything is going to be in flux because because of that. Um, but when it comes to when it comes to a future update or something or something like that, or a future expansion of of um, the st of its state of development, do you ha do you have a release window in mind for th for that, or is that up in the is that too up in the air at this point? Uh, this is something I wanted really <laughs> to have uh, be released in this year, but mm -hmm. actually game development is, uh, is so complicated, so hard <laughs> to accomplish all those uh, features I want to include in the game. Uh, it is taking uh, so long that it will be uh, that I will be hoping that it will be released next year. <laughs> And no, no actual yeah. date for now. Yeah. Um, and would it, would it be fair of me to say that the major that a good majority of the um, work on the game is is done by you? Yes. Actually, it is. Uh, th there are a lot of graphical uh, placeholders for now, uh, because I'm uh, focusing on 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 the development side. Mm -hmm. uh, but this year, I uh, uh, I also added a lot of new uh, graphical assets to it. Uh, 
but it will uh, be uh, it will need uh, more even more for this uh, uh, i'm not i'm totally not a sound guy uh, so i will uh, i am looking for uh, for a collaboration with uh, with some uh, uh, composers and I have mm -hmm. uh, one uh, who already did uh, all the magic uh, effect sound effects for for the actual uh, demo. Mm -hmm. So, but but that uh, kind of collaboration also with other uh, artists, pixel artists, and other developers. If I want it, uh, I will need to raise uh, some money for the project. Mm -hmm. uh, so so the status of it, of this is uh, that I'm searching for some investment uh, among uh, publishers and so on uh, but i'm also thinking about kickstarting the project uh, this uh, month uh, kickstarter allowed uh, polish uh, uh, creators to start the campaign legally uh, on kickstarter so mm -hmm. uh, i will be uh, thinking about <laughs> for sure yeah and with that, with that kind of thing, with that kind of thing in mind, um, if if you end if um if you end up going through with um kick with Kickstarter, would it be fair of me to assume that you'd probably do it for uh, a um thirty day window? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm I'm not uh, very uh, you know familiar with the uh, with the campaigns. i have only watched uh, what uh, I am interested in. Uh, but I will be uh, for sure focusing on it, uh, and I will be preparing pre preparing before uh, before before uh, starting any campaign. Uh, for now, I have only a Steam page uh, where you can wishlist the game, and uh, uh, hopefully, I will be able to release the game on Steam without a problem. Uh, the engine of my choice allows also to uh, to build a game for uh, Nintendo Switch. So I <laughs> hopefully become uh, in some point of my life a Nintendo developer, <laughs> and uh, I will prepare a version for for Nintendo Switch. Uh, but for now, the focus is on PC version, mm -hmm. which is understandable because. Um... I don't think I don't think you want to have a mighty number no. nine situation where you're trying to do way too many skews all at once. Yes, exactly. And with that, with all that, with all that said, I do want to sincerely thank you for taking the time out of your schedule to come onto the show and enjoy the insanity that we have at play here. <laughs> It it was a really real fun for me. <laughs> it was it was uh, first uh, such experience, first such first such interview for me. So I am really thankful for you. Uh, and hey, now the now you can now you can now you can say to everybody else that you that you are that you are internationally known now. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I will announce it here and there. <laughs> yeah. Um. Eh. But of course, anytime you see fit to return, the door is always open. And as I often say around here, drinking is not mandatory, but it is encouraged. Thank you so much for the interview. My pl my pleasure. Um, and of course, a sincere thanks goes out to everybody who took the time out of their schedule to enjoy the show. And there will be plenty more where that came from, as there always is here, on the open bar of the internet. But until then, on behalf of the good brothers present and not present, my name is Mildra, I am your gaming monk, stay fucking frosty everybody! <laughs>